G'day Lockie here. On today's open source unboxing we're going to be taking a look at a project called KIND. Now KIND stands for Kubernetes in Docker um, and I'm going to run this OSS unboxing a little bit in reverse just to show you how I use the tool today and I'm taking a look at it and then we'll kind of dive into what it is. So let me kind of show you the tool from the perspective of, of how I'm using it. So if I'm making code changes in Kubernetes and I actually want to test them that for those who actually do this, this can be a kind of a, lab, uh, a lot of labor in the process. You need to uh, build the binaries, package them up some way, get them in uh, to some kind of bootstrapping tool, and then and only then can you create a cluster. So kind, I actually have the kind binary on here. What I'm going to do is a kind, uh, we'll, we'll kind of type it out, kind build, and I'm going to build the uh, node image, which is used to, to uh, build the nodes. Um, and let's have a look at what options we have here. We can give it a base image, an image, a cube root, and uh, default is Docker. So I'm going to build it against Docker by default, and I'm going to give it a cube root. Okay, so I'm going to do cube uh, root, and I'm just going to copy and paste this directory. Actually, before I run this command, why don't I do something? I will do like a checkout. Let's say I'm working on Kubernetes 1.14.0 beta 1 and I want to cherry pick something in. I'm just going to keep it on uh, where head is currently on that, on that tag. So I'm just going to say kind build node image cube root. So I'm going to build um, a Docker container, um, a container image here that's uh, going to be compiled from source and then shoved into that container so I have something to actually... Um, work with here. So you can see that build process going through right now. Now, you know, obviously building Kubernetes takes several minutes. Um, so while I actually wait for that to complete and build a cluster, let's go take a look at Kind itself. So one of the interesting things, if you go to kind.sigs.kubernetes.io, there's a, a great doc site. And obviously if you go to uh, the URL here, Kubernetes SIG slash kind. But I'm just going to take a look at the doc site. So this is all open source. I think some interesting things here that kind um, introduces is, you know, why is why do we have kind? Why is it different? And the, the document creation is actually great at addressing these. So if you go to the project scope, you can see all the P0s to P1s, P2s, and how they're actually um, uh, building this actual application. Uh, you can see the different stakeholders, um, kind maintainers and contributors, releases and tooling, this is the pieces of covered work. And also over here in the roadmap as well, I think it's interesting for the 1.0 roadmap, there's non-goals as well. So we're not going to support every Kubernetes configuration, we're not going to be a production ready workload. Um, it's, you know, for testing against um, local clusters on developers machine. Um, this is not a host for workloads serving uh, production traffic. And my favorite, we're not replacing FIPI, um, which is fantastic. But I just followed along the kickstart here. So it gives you some ideas. I'm on a Mac here, so I went and got Docker for Mac. Um, you can go and build a cluster like this. And it actually is based on some declarative um, build commands here. So this example config for example, so I can de declaratively give it different um, patches, I can define different networking if I'd like it, and I can, most more importantly, um, I can actually define different roles, and I have three workers. Um, so this is something I can feed in when I actually create this cluster. So for me, typically what I've been using it for today is it's really lightweight, it runs in Docker, you can build base images from source, so uh, making changes to Kubernetes and then actually testing them. Um, the only place really where I see places that might fall off is there's no cloud provider support at the moment, um, but I do see that there in the scope for maybe later versions to actually look at um, things like um, AWS and Azure. Um, and actually interacting with that. But that's not really my main concern at the moment. It was how can I have a lightweight cluster that I build from source in minutes or actually try to test something really um, locally. And I can test things. It passes the conformance suite. So I can actually test things like node selectors and failover and affinity and any affinity as well. Um, really lightweight. So kudos to the folks that actually uh, are working on Kind in the upstream community. I heard it mentioned and um, I'd taken a, made a point to go take a look at it. Um, and while this is happening, we can actually see that 
most of my build at this point is actually done. It's just doing some packaging here, pulling in the other um, pieces of componentry. And from here, I should have a node base image. And from that node base image, I can actually go and build a cluster. Okay, so that's happened. So let's just see what we've got here. If I do um, down the bottom, if I do like Docker images and just pipe it to head, we can actually see that um, we just built this nine seconds ago and that corresponds to this SHA. So I have that here. I'm going to pop back to a watch Docker PS. So nothing's running on Docker on my machine at the moment. I'm just going to cheat here and do like a kind create cluster. So what do we got here? I'm feeding in that config file which says give me a control and three nodes and I'm also just giving it that node image which is would map to this image ID that we just saw. So I'm going to say give me a three node cluster. Um, sure, we could probably go through uh, given that we're on a shorter timeline here. How about I just do this and it's all declarative so it's great fun. So let me just give you one node, right, just in the interest of time. Um, but trust me, three works. Okay, and I will go back and run this cluster create, and we should see down the bottom exactly what's happening. Because that's in my image cache, it's fairly easy. We're doing some mounts, configuring proxy, preloading images, so it's starting to um, do its thing here, waiting for Docker to be ready. Okay, so this is what should happen, and I think under the hood here, I haven't read through all the code. Um, it's using Cube Atom to actually uh, facilitate building and provisioning the cluster. Um, so we've got a kind worker here, and we've got a kind control plane, and once these uh, preloading images are actually up and running, it'll just issue a cluster creator join um, via Cube, Cube ADM or Cube Atom. Not sure which consistent way I'm going to be saying that. Let's just say it both ways. Um, okay, so it's reading it in. We're starting Kubernetes. Okay, so we're like 50 seconds in. It do, there are pre-shipped images as well, so if you don't want to build from source, that is A-OK. -okay. There are uh, pre-shipped images. You can go grab 113.3, 113.4 at your leisure um, and, and run with that as well. So it's starting. This may take a minute. But this is like super easy. Um, and I like that I have multiple nodes. Okay, joining the workers. And then it should come back to me and say, hey, if you want to use this cluster, do this, which is exactly what it did. So I will export that. We get a cluster info there. We can do a kubectl version. Okay, so if you didn't see it there. And if I do like a get nodes, wide. I, I typed wires, but I thought wired, whatever, and I can't do that. Lucky's figured it out. Not ready, not ready. They should come up momentarily. Let's wait till they're ready. Uh, but you can see here that it's running on these container images with these kernel versions. Okay, fantastic. We should end up with these in ready momentarily. But that's that's pretty much it. How easy was that to get like from zero to cluster? And I actually threw in in the time that it took to do this video, I built um, from source. We're ready. I just want to prove that we made it through to ready. So I actually have a, a cluster up and running now. Get uh, pods in the namespace cube system. We should have all the all the stuff we need to actually have a cluster up and running, which is super cool. So um, I'm super excited about this tool, and I have been. I sent out a tweet earlier today about it, and it got a lot of traction. So just wanted to um, give a shout out to the folks that are working on this for making it super easy to do kind of inner loop development here, or at least um, some lightweight changes and have them packaged up and runnable. Um, so thanks, and thanks for joining uh, OSS Unboxing today. If you like this, give it a big thumbs up. Uh, if you love the video, uh, please subscribe to my channel, and thanks for watching. Cheers.